So 56 North uh, opened in April 2008. We were Scotland's first ever gin bar. Uh, we had 36 gins on a bar, which at the time was something mega, but nowadays obviously is nothing. Uh, and we've grown and grown and grown to the point now where we've pretty much stocked all the Scottish friends. So we've got most of the Scottish distilleries covered and we have about 400 gins. So we cover a huge whack of global gin, as well as Scottish. So it's an amazing space. So the secret garden is usually our car park, our staff car park. And over several months prior to the fringe, we're all out here working hard to convert it into the incredible space you see behind me. Um, AstroTurf covers, heaters, an amazing bar, but we've also got 15 amazing Scottish gins on it this year, um, including Darnley's which is brilliant. Um, and we tried to come up with some novel serves for everyone as well to really make it interesting for the guests. In addition to that, we've got beers, cocktails, wines, Prosecco, pizza oven from our friends at Uni. So we're covering all bases um, and it's an amazing space. I mean, I know you've been in it a few times, Emma, and it's, it's been really good fun. Super handy for shows. So we're just over from Bristow Square and traditionally Spiegel Tent, which is assembly. Um, we're basically open for the whole fringe period. The garden's open 12 noon till 1 a.m. Uh, 56 North is open 11 a.m. till 3 a.m. So it's long hours at this time of year, but it's good fun. Uh, we're very, very lucky that we're so close to all the big shows. So we are very, very easy to find. So my top tips for the Edinburgh Fringe, I'm gonna give you five. First one, considering the weather this year, is pack some sort of umbrella or rain mac. Uh, you're gonna need it at some stage. Second one is come find us either in 56 itself or the Secret Garden and come and drink some of our Scottish gin friends. Try Darnley's and ginger ale, it's really tasty. The spice is awesome. Uh, so that's my second top tip. Third one, try and see a show you wouldn't normally go and see. So go outside the comfort zone. I'm a big comedy fan, but I always try and see something else, be it theater or dance or something, because the whole point of the Fringe is getting slightly outside your comfort zone, which I love. Fourth one, stay out late, at least one night. You want to do the school night one where you stay out late and have to turn up for work feeling a bit rubbish. Uh, we've all done it, we'll all do it again. It's part of the fun of the Fringe. Lastly, try where possible to pre-book tables and then at least you're guaranteed somewhere to sit. That's not just in here, but that's in any venue. If you can do it, book it, because it'll make life so much easier. Makes it easier for the venues, also makes it better for the guests. So if you want to get outside Edinburgh for the day, and my recommendations would be try and go and see some of Scotland. Uh, we're very, very lucky in the central belt where the train links are pretty solid and it's very easy to get over into Fife or St Andrews or across to Kingsbarn for yourselves or even carry on slightly further up into Royal Deeside and Glenshee and all those parts. Well, they're stunning. And they're maybe only an hour, hour and a half, two hours away and you could do it on a morning or in an afternoon when the weather's bad or you know you want to get out of Edinburgh. Um, particularly for the guests that are coming for a week or longer, it's a great way to sort of recharge the batteries mid-fringe and then go back at the fringe again. So we're open in the Secret Garden till the 26th of August. Uh, we're 12 noon to 1 a.m. daily. Um, and it is really, really good fun. You can book tables in the garden on the 56 North website but we only book a handful, so even if there isn't any availability showing online, you can still quite happily come down because we've got loads of space.